If you've ever wondered what kind of difference one person could make, it's all standing right here. I love these guys. I love these guys. Joey Rubio is turning a lifetime of mistakes into miracles. By the time I was seven, eight, I took to the streets, you know. Joey grew up in the projects of Brooklyn and started selling and using heroin at the age of 10. Gang banging, drugs, guns. After spending 35 years of his life behind bars. This is me in prison. Joey finally freed himself of shackles and addictions. How long have you been sober? Seven years. I haven't looked back. Thank you. Yeah. Five years ago, when the McAllister Institute took a chance on Joey, he had no job skills. He couldn't even turn on a computer. But that didn't stop him from teaming up with police and park rangers to launch a program called Work for Hope. Maria came to my program. I mean, I got so many people here that have come to my program. One step outside his office, and Joey is surrounded by success stories. I really appreciate him. <laughs> I really appreciate him. Instead of living on the streets Thank and addicted <laughs> to drugs, Maria is now sober with a job. He helped me. Um, I made something out of nothing. Joey and his clients have beautified more than 90 parks with a program that needs funding. You go to City Hall and everybody raises their hand, we want to help you, we want to help you, but when it comes time to help you, nobody's there. Joey's passion brings his boss. I don't know anybody who has as much heart as he does. He, uh, Carlos Cuervo to tears. I just don't know anybody with that much heart. When I first came in here for help, I was, uh, I was homeless for about a year. I was smoking meth. Joey also helped Royce land a job and get half custody of his daughter back. Joey and uh, the staff here at McAllister Institute are the reason why my life is going the way it's going right now. A guy who used to run from the police now teams up with them to throw people a lifeline. I got my family back because of this program. Archimedes also got a job and his child back and wanted to say this about second chances. That they're possible, that there's a lot of people just like me that need help, just need a push. This is the love and support Joey never had. I wanted to change, like I needed to change and it helped me. <laughs> it's okay, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I, I appreciate it. I really do. <laughs> 35 years of hard time, and Joey still has the softest of hearts. He chokes me up. Chokes me up. In the Zevely Zone, Jeff Zevely, CBS 8.